so it's there, there actually. Time, when I went dog sledding, we slept in these fucking snow huts. And, and uh, it was fucking warmer inside of a little fucking snow fucking fort than it was inside of a fucking actual tent that they had to live on. So, the body, the body temperature of the people is still warm to that fort. It's a fucking little, little, uh, cabin. I think it's insane that people live in igloos. And like that blew my mind as a kid, just being like, oh, the actual living house is just crazy. It wasn't an igloo, it was uh, basically just a big padded down fucking mound of snow shell. The train, train. Oh, the train shows up on it, huh? It was actually pretty cool if I could see them. They amazed us, me. I thought it was going to be fucking cold shit. But the body temperature is fucking seven months. The climate in... Uh, the, the climate in... Uh, um, um, just America is... It's, even the United States of America, just the, the diversity and the climate, it just, it just amazes me, you know? Yeah. Just, uh, we got so much diversity well, think, here. Well, yeah, when, you think, at, when you're looking at, I mean, what does it take for you to drive across the UK? A couple hours? Um, so, I, I, I it's guess... Like, it's, it's, like, a, it's like one state for us. <laughs> So that yeah. is, so, the longest part, I suppose, would be north, north to, north to south, is longer than, like, east to right. west. Four, four. Somebody told me something about it, it was like four or five hours or something, that I thought the longest part. I think the longest, I don't know, well, from going from, like, say, the bottom of England to the top of Scotland would, could take about 12 hours, probably. Well, um, but on like windy roads and things like that. But but yeah, I mean, uh, I know it's like what it would take a week to drive across America or something like. Oh, um, well, you can. I don't know if the traffic is on on this track, is it? It is. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh. oh, I just got hit by the train. Like, like, fuck it up. Yeah, yeah, maybe the creator wanted the, the train to show up. You're looking at 14 hours just to go from the bottom to the top of it. So I wonder, so from... Traffic, what's the traffic? I wonder... Like, like, how long do you reckon it would take to drive to, from California to New York? Um, non-stop, probably three or four days. Three or four days, so that would obviously be yeah, multiple I mean, driver jobs. Do. I can't believe like, that somebody just, set, somebody just set the world record for the cannonball in who did it in the fucking year and prevented the fucking And so that's just people taking shifts driving, right? No, it's one fucking dude who stayed up the whole time but after the gas tank in the fucking car. Took the front seat off and put a fuel cell in the car. That's intense, that is. Yeah. You know, uh, in, in the UK, um, people that drive trucks or what we call lorries over here, you know, uh, 18 wheelers and things like that. Uh, how you, how you go across country without getting pulled over for speeding? Uh, radar detectors. And most of the time you're going so... Dude, the guy average... His average speed was like 125. Jesus! And he never got caught? Uh-uh. He had one, uh... There was, uh... 
one stop, a co like a COVID stop, that he had to stop when he went into the state of California. <laughs> and he said he made it look like gas tank was covered under luggage and shit. Like he had uh, clothes and stuff on top of the gas tank. And they asked him what he was doing, and uh, he said he was a stencil worker and he was moving to California. A lot of people doing it at the same time. It was yeah, I know. Uh, like right before that, somebody hit it, hit the record in uh, in whatever that car is. That's the, that's the 9S. Audi. Yeah, the Audi, whatever it is. But uh, and then uh, what the dude in the Mustang had his buddy. I think somewhere like in Oklahoma. Um, meet him right on the freeway to fill up with gas. He only had to stop at one time for gas. Because he put like a 100 gallon fucking fuel tank or something, an extra tank, from extra LA, 100 gallon tank. From LA to New York, day and a half. That's for the record? No, just, no, just how long it would take. So what's that, fucking 36 fucking hours? Yeah. 